Barbie. How are you today? I am off to go see the Barbie movie tonight, wearing the, of course, mandatory pink, and looking forward to saying hi, Barbie, to all the other lovely women in pink and the lovely men, and going on a double date and looking forward to it. So let's get ready. Won't you get ready with me? Yes, we can be Barbie at any age. Now, a number of a month or so ago, I had a haircut that I really didn't like, and I've decided that I do not like me with bangs. So while you could do a Barbie with bangs, I'm not going to. Let's get those bangs the heck out of my way. Let's see if we can do this. Basically want to just have a little swoopy swoop. hair before we do the makeup. So I'm going to keep pinning that and let me spray that a little. There we go. Now it won't move. So I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail, a fake ponytail. I can barely get it into a ponytail at all. I got this piece um, a couple weeks ago at Paula Young. I'm going to take the very top section of my hair, hair put this aside. That's going to be my little camouflage piece. Let's just get that out of the way. Like that. And all the rest going into a ponytail. Scraping into the ponytail. Yeah. My hair is pretty short and very fine, doesn't want to stay there, so Tanshu Lavender Stick. This is the piece that I got at Paula Young. I'll drop all the information for you in the description box. I have a darker one as well that's a little bit longer, but I thought this would be fun for Burby Night. Yes, I plan to wear these shoes and give myself Barbie feet. So I want to spray all this hair down. Okay, now I'm going to take this bit right here. I'm going to pull it right on top.
Let's lay it on top to hide the seam. That allows me to get just a little more height with that, which is good for some fine haired gals. And there's our Barbie bang. I had my eyebrows microbladed a few years ago and the ink has faded red, which is an unusual color to have when you have gray hair. This is my trick for getting rid of that red. Seek a pair, Dr. Jarts. I just take a little of this, literally just and then using a small angled brush, I literally just paint out the red. Gives me a much better, more, more neutral base to start. My foundation is NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. The shade I'm using is Patagonia, and I'm using very little of it. Just a squirt and a half. And then I like to add a little of a moisturizer. This particular one is Hydrating Face Cream by Good Science Beauty. And you can see. So then what I do is I'll take small amounts at a time of the foundation and the cream, sort of mix them together. That little black spots from my towel. And then I'll bounce a little bit off of it 
with a beauty blender. So it's very, very sheer. Continuing that all over. It's time to get towels that don't leave fibers all over my face. This is NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener in Golden Eye. By the way, all of the NARS products are sent to me at no cost. So while I'm using NARS, you use whatever you have on hand. This is a NARS liquid blush in Orgasm. Just a teensy bit of concealer around my nose. This is also NARS Cream Concealer in shade Canel. First sneeze will take care of all that. So I did take my antihistamine. Then I'm going to lay in a translucent powder, again by NARS. This is their light reflecting powder, and you can see I like it a lot. You can apply it with a brush or a puff. It actually comes with a small puff. I've lost that ages ago. I like using these because you can throw them in the washer and dryer and clean them regularly. You can find them at any beauty supply store. Now, one would imagine that I would apply bronzer liquid, and I have liquid bronzer, but I am not good at liquid bronzer. For some reason, it's I gotta stick with the powder. So this is NARS, and it's Laguna One. Gotta have that sun-kissed glow for Barbie, right? I'm gonna keep it simple and just use this as my eyeshadow. 
the same NARS bronzer because I'm not doing a lot of eyeshadow. Just some in the crease. I am blending challenged. So I find just taking a clean brush and going over it will do me a lot of good because I don't always see what I need to see. Okay, let's bump up those eyebrows a little bit. I'm gonna go with a very neutral taupe or a blonde. This is soft light in my Naturally Pretty It Cosmetics palette. I'm gonna do a little tight lining with a navy blue pencil. This is a super skinny pencil, so it's gonna take me a little longer than it would with a thicker pencil. I just need to buy myself a navy blue thicker pencil. However, having a really, really thin pencil, if you're new to tight lining, does make it a lot easier. This one is NYX Professional Makeup, uh, keeping it tight. Now I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of that right along the lashes. And using a smudge brush, I'm gonna give that a slight smudge. I also have a navy blue by Revlon skinny liner that I'm gonna go over that with. Last. 
while that's drying, let me line my lips. Does it hurt at all to be made of plastic? Is it fantastic? Dress you up, but it's never enough. It gets harder to laugh when you wear This is about as close as I've got to matching this top, and I believe it will be atrocious, so I'm going to put it on and then mat it down a lot because I think this is too much color for me. Get some mascara on. I don't see any reason to do false eyelashes tonight, but if you want to, you go right ahead. Just a touch more blush. And I want this very pale pink. And I'm getting sweaty under here. Actually, a pretty good match, but I think you'll still feel like it's a little heavy. That feels much more wearable. And that is by Jaden Madison, and it is Intentions. That is what this shade is called by Jaden Madison Cosmetics. Okay, getting a little sweaty in here. Shouldn't probably wear silk at this time of year, but uh, you know, such is life. Get a little shimmer on those cheeks. I love you bunches. Thank you so much for getting ready with me to go see Barbie. And, uh, hi Barbie. you cry